Hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I am so excited to knock out this video and share this news with you all. As the title of this video suggests, yes, the YouTuber guitar company is back with a brand new guitar. And honestly, everybody, I took a little sneak peek and I'm really, really excited. And that company is Badlands Guitar Company. Today's filming right now, it's late at night. As you can see, it's nighttime out, July 30th. 2023. So I'm actually filming this ahead of time in preparation for the release date that is August 1st. The Tone King, aka Lewis, one of the guys affiliated with Badlands Guitar Company, sent over some promo material and some press release stuff for me to check out and share with you all. And essentially, I'm more or less collabing with them and being a part of the release. And I'm just so honored and thankful to be able to do so, okay? So congrats to Badlands Guitar Company and everybody associated with the brand. This guitar that I'm about to show you is really, really cool. All right, you guys ready to see it? Boom! Up on your screen right now, we have the GX1 Hollow Flash. Oh my goodness, this thing looks absolutely amazing. It is so 80s, it is so in your face and loud and vibrant, but <laughs> I absolutely love it, man. I sincerely do. Gonna be completely transparent and honest with you guys, the first rendition of their guitar, the GX1, the one with the racing stripes, the red and black with the maple board that came out in January of this past year, I liked it, but like, I don't know, red racing stripes just really weren't my thing. But this guitar, for whatever reason, it's just absolutely amazing. It's so unique, and I've never really seen a finish like this in my own personal experience, just, you know, scouring the internet. This guitar finish reminds me of three things. One, that old-school John Petrucci Ibanez guitar that he had in, like, the mid to late 90s with, like, the face on it and the different colors. You know what I'm talking about. Second, reminds me of Pokemon cards, holographic Pokemon cards. I'm a huge fan of that. And third, this is really weird. Any of you guys remember the book The Rainbow Fish? My mom used to read that to me when I was a kid, man. So as soon as I saw this, it just reminded me of that book. I don't know. I'm weird. <laughs> so the Tone King actually sent over a little press release for me to share with you all and it goes like this on the heels of its successful first limited run model badlands guitar company is proud to announce the release of its second limited run electric guitar the badlands gx1 hollow flash hs here's another look at it man it looks amazing dude it looks so like loud bro but like i love it man i really really love it I mean, just everything about it is so unique, bro. Like, check out the 12th fret inlay. It's like Saturn. It looks like the uh, looks like the emblem on Chucky Finster's shirt. You know what I'm talking about? The hollow flash film is under clear coat and black bursting the guitar's body edges for a sharp, modern twist on this unique finish. Rolled ebony board, special planetary inlay in the 12th fret, round out the GX1 hollow flash, stage ready, custom shop looks. Dude, they knocked it out of the park with this thing. I really don't know of another guitar on the market and arguably ever that looks like this. I'm sure there's some out there. Don't, you know, I'm sure there's one or two out there, but just generally speaking, man, like what a unique looking guitar. Like <laughs> at least they swung for the fences on this one. You know what I'm saying? The Hollow Flash HS also features a new pickup model exclusive to the Badlands Guitar Company lineup, the M81 single coil. All right, sweet. And then we also have a humbucker called the M88. So Badlands makes their own pickups or, you know, somebody makes them for them and they're branded as such. Only 100 available built to order. It can be expected by early 2024. Right or left hand orientations. We can get a Godo locking vibrato bridge or a Godo fixed bridge. Okay, sweet. Oh, damn. That just dawned on me. Fixed bridge. Oh, okay. One thing I love about the first rendition of the GX1 from Badlands is they did a non-recessed Floyd. I love non-recessed Floyds. I wish there was more of them on the market because like floating Floyds, like they're cool and stuff, but like, dude, the maintenance and the upkeep can be a bit problematic, right? Long story short, I think these things are absolutely sick. I believe these knock the original ones or the first renditions, the black and the red ones just out of the park. These are so much cooler. And the other ones were cool. I'm just saying this galaxy futuristic wild looking guitar. <laughs> I love it so much, man. And the last thing I just want to show you guys is we got a couple pictures to check out here. A couple different shots of these guitars. I think they look great, man. I love how vibrant and active this finish is or this flake, this holographic thing, whatever you want to call it, man. Like from picture to picture, the guitar changes so much. Yeah, here's a great shot right here. I mean, just look at the difference in the guitars. Like we have the uh, Goto trim, and then we got the Goto fixed. Yeah, they look amazing, dude. I'm saying the same thing over and over. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I just really, really love these guitars, and I'm super stoked and happy for Tone King and, you know, Philip McKnight and everybody involved, okay? So, I wanna turn it over to you guys. What do you guys think of these guitars? I've said it a million times. You guys know my thoughts and opinions on them, but I wanna know what you guys think of them, okay? So, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Just a quick little video, just a quick little announcement, man. Yeah, these guitars, super rad, and I'm happy for them, all right? So be sure to subscribe on your way out the door. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Later.